came out here with the dozer. Uh, the guys worked it over, back drag, tried to help it dry a little bit more. You can see we're still dealing with some wetness. Uh, uh, may need to line them spots, but we don't get no more rain. Hopefully we can get this proof rolled. All right, there you see, we got a took it. the excavator, take the excavator, just break it up, get it in there about six, eight inches, mix it up like that. Then we'll take the dozer, we'll roll back over it. Here where we had the wet spots where it was pumping, you can see right around here, see where them tire tracks are? That's what they don't want to see. When you see that pumping, that ground right there when you drive over it and it shoots up like that, that's called pumping. So if you take the excavator, just mix it up a little bit, dump it in there, you're good to go. Um, Here you can see the process of liming it when you don't have a mix all on the job. You can just take the excavator, break it up like that. You wanna get it down a good six, eight inches. Go get you a bag of it. Uh, it costs you about 12 bucks. Be sure and put a mask on. You do not want to be breathing this line. Then you just kind of mix it up like that. Give it a little bit. Bring the dozer over it. And she'll set up and be nice and hard. Had one, two, three, four, five spots. That were problematic just for my one ton dually. They squished a little bit. So I went and got lime and uh just put stirred it up put the lime on it now i'm getting ready to get on the dozer thought i shared it with you after you get done with the dozer looks like just a little bit of white sprinkle on the ground that'll set up now get hard so we can get it proof rolled we're set up the proof roll on tuesday here we are proof rolling over it you want 120 to 150 pounds per square inch uh, pressure when you roll it. So normally you just throw some dirt in the back of the dump truck and go. So you, and you roll back and forth, back and forth. If you see anywhere where the ground starts going up and down and pumping as you're running back and forth, that's a problem there. You can't have that up under your slab. That's bad. So you have to stop and fix it and lime it. The inspector from the laboratory has to see this process done before they'll sign off on it. It's called proof roll. Works real well, not too complicated to do. Just gotta have a truck full of dirt. Look at this front tire. Watch this spot, watch the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix all this right here. Have to lime it. Where I limed over here, Not bad, not bad, not bad. A little bit more right here. Okay, moment of truth. Truck's fully loaded, that's 80,000 pounds. That's about 27,000, well about 23,000 pounds more than the average tandem dump truck. Right there was my worst spot. Good there. 
some front tires that got all the pressure on. Not bad, not bad. A little bit more drying, not bad. Hello folks, here we are at Maximum Altitude Flight. You can see the truck in the trailer down there. Let's take around, see where we're building at this time. We'll call this portion of the video the look-see. Try to go slow here so we can get a good view, a panoramic of it. It is a hot day. The heat index is supposed to be 106. Yeah, as you can see, not a bad little place. Oh. So let's go down here and look at the job. See the truck in the trailer there? Used to be a house here, as I told you earlier in the video. We tore the house down, hauled it all off, salvaged some rock. We passed our proof rolling yesterday, so today we're mixing dirt. Woohoo! Sounds like fun. Um, we got dirt on the job. It was here before the rain. It's pretty got pretty wet. We're moving it around, drying it out. Yes, we're still paying for the rain. Uh, we're bringing in dirt, dry, mixing it with it to it, so. We'll work with it and get it down to where we can get it in the slab and it'll pass all of its inspections. Um, so you can see here, see the piles. That's what the job site looks like. And we'll update you on it again. Have a good one. All right, here we got building the foundation. We got a sprinkler, had to stop. Now we got the trucks coming back in. You can see how wet we got right there. But, they're bringing us good dry dirt right there so we can continue on. Time to take it. Gotta keep the counting right. And the one driver stopped right there so he could go to the porta potty. Leaving it tough on the other driver.
seems like every job I'm doing right now is a foundation. At one time in my life, foundations were my bread and butter, but I kind of gotten away from them. But here recently, man, I've been foundations. You know, so today we're putting in first lift here, uh, 60 truckloads, uh, select fill. We not quite got another 15 loads to go to be able to put, put our first lift in. This pad will have three lifts and three eight inch lifts. Um, but we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. The problem is everybody's just booked. Like I, I got 60 loads a day. I can't get no more loads until Thursday. Um, everybody's just booked. The pits are booked. Um, everybody's working, I reckon. That's a good thing. But it sure does hurt to slow down your job. Okay, my folks. Well, just thought I'd share this with you. Of a day, of a dollar, as they say. Um, getting this foundation in, and then we'll build the parking lot and other shopping center later.